three ways man could travel faster than light. 670,616,629 miles per hour. That is the speed limit of the universe. The speed of light. Nothing with mass can travel faster. And because of this limit, interstellar travel toward stars more than 100 light years away seems problematic and downright impossible for galaxies that are upwards of millions of light years away. But what if we could cheat physics? What if we found a secret back door that allowed us to traverse the universe as we saw fit? How would this work? Let's find out as we explore three ways man could travel faster than light. Number 3. The Alcubierre Drive The theory of special relativity forbids any object from moving at light speed. It doesn't matter how small it is, how much weight it's lost recently thanks to its fancy new diet. It is physically impossible for anything of mass to haul ass directly from A to B at faster than light speed. However, such speeds may be possible if you were to travel indirectly by manipulating the very fabric of space-time itself. In 1994, Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre proposed the idea of the Alcubierre Drive, which would enable a spaceship to move faster than light without traveling at light speed. His concept involves the contraction of space in front of the vehicle, followed by the expansion of space behind it, allowing the vehicle to exist within a warp bubble as it bends space-time to its whim. If that sounds a little confusing, imagine yourself sitting across the room from the remote when Real Housewives of New York is on the TV. Traveling to the remote would require you to listen to this cultural cancer for longer than you'd wish. So, instead, you inflate a giant balloon under your buttocks and another one under the remote. As the two balloons grow in size, you eventually meet in the middle, change the channel, and your agony is no more. This method does not violate the current known laws of physics. In fact, general relativity allows the expansion of space between distant objects to take place at faster-than-light speeds. The universe itself is believed to be expanding at faster-than-light speed, specifically beyond a distance of around 14 billion light-years out from us. Unfortunately, the Alcubierre drive requires exotic matter, possibly dark matter, to create negative energy density, and we don't know if such matter exists with the properties we require. We're also unsure how to create a ship capable of surviving such a violent event as a warp bubble. And furthermore, what happens to those in the near vicinity of a warp bubble? What are its effects on people, or on the universe, or on the passage of time itself? Well, if NASA continues their great work, we may find out sooner rather than later. In 2015, a team of researchers using the M-Drive resonance chamber may have unintentionally created a warp bubble. And as Bob Ross might say, what a happy little accident that was. Further research will take years to confirm if this assessment is true, but if so, we could be on the verge of completely redefining the limits of human space travel. Number 2. Wormholes the idea of wormholes being used across the galaxy at faster than light speed has been discussed at length by sci-fi authors and guys who live in their mama's basement for decades now. But despite their existence being theoretically possible through the curving up of space-time, we have yet to find conclusive evidence of their natural existence in the universe. Black holes and white holes have been theorized as the exits and entrances of a wormhole with the singularity of a black hole replaced by the concept of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, a hypothetical tunnel through space-time that allows objects to move almost instantaneously to another point in the universe. Remember our distant remote dilemma of the last entry? Imagine if that situation was drawn on a 2D piece of paper. Instead of using balloons or your human legs like a sucker, you would instead fold reality over on itself and punch a hole through it allowing you to reach through and grab the remote. Much like the Alcubierre drive, this method would not require the object itself to move at faster than light speeds, but it would give the effect of traveling far quicker. 
If such tunnels exist, they could serve to bunch up our vast, expansive universe and allow human beings to visit anywhere they reach to. However, there are a number of significant problems with this idea. Not least the fact that such tunnels would open and shut so fast that not even a single speck of light could get through in time. Stephen Hawking believes we could use something called the Casimir effect to hold these tunnels open and stabilize them. But even if this proves possible, we still don't know if wormholes exist naturally at all. If not, we may have to make one. Many black holes have been constructed in a lab already, and the works of Muhammad Mansouryar further explores how these could be developed into fully-fledged wormholes. But for the time being, these tunnels across space are about as traversable as the ones Wile E. Coyote painted on a solid stone wall. Wait, Roadrunner could pass through them though, so maybe he has the answers. Number 1. Teleportation In real life, teleportation does not work in the same way it does in movies. Whereas in Star Trek you can shoot blue lasers at something, dissolve it, and have it reappear at another point in space, in reality, what you've just done is destroy the original object and make a copy. In this form, teleportation is not particularly useful in helping us cross the universe. Teleportation requires the transmission of data, and unless you can send that data at faster than light speed, you can't beat the speed limit of the universe. However, we've already explored how warp bubbles and wormholes might be used to beat light speed. So, perhaps this is how we'll send data to enable teleportation across the universe. It's unlikely we'll be able to send organic matter and have it come out feeling dandy on the other side. But machines, possibly nanobots, could be sent in our stead. Alternatively, we may use quantum entanglement to teleport individual particles, as Chinese scientists demonstrated in July when they moved a particle from the ground to a satellite 1,400 kilometers away. This still wouldn't enable humans to travel at faster than light speed, though. But something that might is the concept of a sub-reality slipstream. Ever watch a time travel movie where the time machine drops down into a weird interdimensional highway filled with question marks, clocks, and pretty colors? Well, the idea of a slipstream is very similar, and it uses string theory to imagine that there are ten dimensions to reality rather than four, and that one or more of these dimensions can be accessed to facilitate faster-than-light travel. Slipstreams are believed to be individual strings which connect every point in the universe in a dimension outside of our own. They may exist in a realm smaller than us as quantum black holes, or in a realm larger than us in a higher dimensional space called the bulk. Either way, we exist within the brain, spelled B-R-A-N-E, which is a subspace into which everything is crammed. When traveling in the brain, we are subject to the laws of physics. Travel outside of the brain, and you can reach any point in the universe you want almost instantaneously. CERN is currently looking for evidence of extra dimensions as we speak by searching for tiny black holes. But even if we find such dimensions, we're still a long way from being able to use these to take a holiday in the Crab Nebula, which is by far my favorite of all crustacean-themed nebulas. So what are our alternatives? If we can't travel at the speed of light, how fast can we go using other equipment? This is something we're going to explore in our bonus video, Spaceships of the Future, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bull****. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. 
In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.